Hey everybody, I'm here to show you guys how you get the picture in the back of the phone board letter. First, I start in Canva. Once I get to Canva, I'll go right there to create a design. Once you create a design, you want to get a custom size and then you want 24 by 36 inches. Okay. Now that I got that done, you want to go over here to Elements, scroll down to Frames. Once you get the frames, you want to type the whatever letter you want to use in. I'm going to use the R, so I'm going to type the R. And this is the choices you have. You can choose any choice you want. Just be mindful that you will need it to stand once you get the foam around it. I'm going to use this one. Okay. Once you get your letter over, you want to size it how you want it. I, I always size mine from top to bottom and put it in the corner. The reason I do that is for less cutting. I won't have to cut this side over here. I'll just cut around there and here. And then once you get that done, you want to go over here to upload. And then you want to choose the picture you're going to use. I'm going to use one of my daughter's senior pictures. Uh, let's see. Let's try this one. Let's see if we can get her. Uh, I don't like that one. The way it looks in the R. So I'm going to delete that. Okay, let's try a different one. How about this one? Okay, yes, that'll work. Okay. So once you get everything lined up how you like it, then we'll go at the top and download it. Download, download. Okay, then you wait for that to download. And I'm no professional at doing videos. I just want to show everybody how to get this done. Then we'll go here and go to Walgreens. Then we'll go to Menu, Posters, Posters. Okay, and this screen here. Okay, let's talk about that. Okay, it gives you a few options. Satin paper, adhesive, and paperboard. I'm not sure about the paperboard. I've never used that, so I don't have very much information on that option. Okay, but satin paper and adhesive. Adhesive, it has a stick back, so you can stick it to the foam board. Satin paper, you would have to glue it to the foam board. For the sake of the video, I'm going to use satin paper. Then you would just have to maybe maybe use a spray glue and spray it on the foam board. I use the, When I did it, I used the adhesive. But like I said, for the sake of the video, we're going to do satin paper. It's just preference, really. If you want to save a little time, you can use the adhesive. If you want to save a little money, you'll use the satin paper. Okay, and then you'll choose the size you want. We did 24 by 36, so that's what we're going to pick. Create now. Okay, once you get there, we're going to upload. Select photos, photo library. Pick our picture. Wait on it to download. Okay, it's downloaded. We're going to press done at the bottom of the screen. Okay, then we're going to add the photo. Okay, right now it's saying low resolution because the picture is turned the wrong way. Let's fix that. Click this bottom part. And then we're going to go over to 
size and frame once we turn it the right way that yellow warning symbol it'll go away let's press orientation to switch it the right way okay okay so that's what it'll look like when you press then you'll go up here to the top of the screen and review it look how good that looks and like i said it's top to bottom so you'll get minimal cutting with your hot knife okay if you love it like it proceed to cart and once you get to uh walgreens always got 40 50 60 even 75 percent off sometimes i already got the coupon photo fund 50 in there so each letter will be 15.49 a piece with the 50 percent off so that's how you'll do each letter if you have any questions regarding the video just let me know and i'll try to answer them